uh, for this video, I will show you how to add in column. Okay, if we zoom in, you can see that the drawing already has labeling C16, C21. So we have circular shape, rectangular shape, parameterized shape, right? Okay, so on the drawing, before you add in column, look at this. Okay. you need to know the size. Now, for you to view the size, you add in column detail. Say for example, this column. Okay, the size is 450 and 200. Okay, so any one of this. Go back to your drawing. Make sure you click on this button. It says draw point. Now you find C21. So C21 is here. Draw point. Okay. Um, okay, that one. Okay, if you see C21, if you draw how to rotate the column. So you see this one? This but draw rotation point. So what you need to do is just click, draw, something wrong is, I think I've got the size wrong. Let's say if you accidentally placed the column not within the boundary, don't worry, because you can align. See this button? It says align. So you click the reference line. So you click the reference re line, say this one, and align with this one. So now the column is within the boundary okay um let's try another one let's, go back. let's see what other columns are similar c1 c3 do for rectangular column now let's try round column back to the column detail let's see what's the size it says c5 for the radius is 150 so you can immediately change it here c5 radius is 150 
Parameterized, we're looking at C14. So the similar shape is this one, LD, but I need the measurements, right? So cancel that first. Go back to your column detail. So you find C14, for example, this one. Okay, you only have, remember just now we saw they wanted measurement for this area, this area, this area. So how do you get those area under tool you go to measure distance right click on the point and there you go so you have your size okay and Okay, so now let's go back to your column. Let's go back to your drawing. Have a go at all the columns. <laughs>